What's happening everybody? It's Passive Crypto Mining here, your number one place for all things crypto. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and a review of the Type 1 Planet Watch sensor. And in the second part of the video is going to be a step-by-step -step on how to set up this sensor. So whether you've got one, you're planning to get one, or you're in the waiting list, it's worth saving this video. I've got timestamps at the bottom if you want to skip straight to the part when I talk through the step-by-step. -step. And finally, towards the end of the video, I'll let you know exactly how much I earned from being online as a lead sensor for 22 days. Was it worth the investment? Maybe we'll find out at the end of the video. So I purchased my license in the first week of September of 2021 and I got my link to purchase the sensor in the first week of January. It arrived about two or three weeks later after paying the import duty. It comes in a durable box, I'll say, but you need to keep hold of this box and I'll explain why later. The item itself is quite light, although it is durable. It's waterproof. It comes with a decent 10 meter cable. It has the mount, of course, the power block, and it also comes with a clamp and a small instruction manual. The cable itself is quite thin and flappy uh, and it connects to an internal a two pin port. You need to make sure that you line up the plus and the negative pins on this port but actually that's already written inside the cable. It came with a European power cable but I was able to switch that for a UK one. The material is plastic, it does feel a little bit flimsy I have to say but once it's stuck up there I'm sure it will be fine. The mounting arm is made of metal but it's made of a brittle kind of metal, so when you do mount it, make sure that you don't twist it as hard as you possibly can. It comes with this mounting clip, which is designed to mount it to a pole. It also came with two screws, if you wanted to screw it to a brick wall or a wall on the outside of your property. The cable itself was about 18 millimeters, so you wanna make sure that you get a drill that is at least 20 millimeters for you to do that. The items that I use include this um, drill, I had some cable clips to keep my cables connected to the wall, a spanner which fit the diameter of the uh, nuts, and finally I purchased a 20 millimeter drill bit from Amazon. This one, it was a pretty easy business to do actually, it wasn't hard. One of the issues that I did have actually was that the cable itself is very thin and very flimsy, and so when you drill your hole, there is a chance that the cable can fall behind a cavity if you have a cavity wall. So just bear that in mind when you're feeding the cable through your wall. The actual end of the cable is hard, but the cable itself is thin and flimsy. Think of it as a wet piece of spaghetti. Very important, do not plug in your device until you have set it up on the back end. Now you can either mount the device physically first, then onboard the sensor with Planet Watch, or you can do the onboarding first and then mount the sensor. It depends on your convenience, on your time, if you have access to a ladder. So let's move on to the actual next part of the video, which is the onboarding. I've got here on the screen, if you wanna take a screenshot of it, the different steps that you need to onboard this device. Now the first step is to go on the Algo app. It's actually called Para Algo now. And once you've opened the app and you've already signed in, click on create a new wallet. You're gonna to wanna to create a new wallet for this sensor. Again, you can use one of your old wallets if you want, but I always prefer keeping the separate tights in a separate wallet. Once you've created your wallet, keep a note of the passphrase. This is your password. If you lose it, you lose access to this wallet. It's important that number one, you have some algo in your wallet. You need a minimum amount of 0.3 algo, and then you can add an asset, which is the planet's asset. Once you've done that, you should have a wallet which has some algo in it and also the planet's asset initialized. Next step you need to do is you need to go on support.planetwatch.io and you need to submit a request. The request name is Aquino Activation and there is some simple information that they ask from you and the reason you made your wallet is because they ask for your wallet address. Put the email address in the same one that you use when you sign up. The Aquino device ID is written on the bottom of your device so it's very important that you take a picture of that before you stick up your sensor onto wherever you're sticking it up. Put your owner wallet address in. You don't need to put anything for the infrastructure email and then finally there will be a box for a description or a subject. You can just put Aquino activation and click submit after you've entered your country. Now you need to wait a short while for Planet Watch to email you back. The email should look something like this where they give you an 
number for you to initialize your asset in the wallet and there'll be a reminder to install the planet watch asset the way that you initialize the asset that they've given you is exactly the same as you initialize the planet watch asset find your planet watch type one wallet then go on add asset and the number they gave you you need to import and initialize that figure as an asset you need to reply to the email that they sent you to say that this has been done wait a short amount of time and then your sensor should be onboarded if you have an issue you can always email them and let them know next thing you need to do is now onboard onto the planet watch app this is a simple step click on the planet watch app click on your wallets add wallet here you're going to type the name of your wallet and you're going to type in the passphrase that you have taken from your algo wallet once you've done that you click on add sensor click on your license a small message will come up here telling you that the sensor is already associated with a wallet this is what you did previously when you added the asset for your individual sensor and so once you click on proceed what it will do is it will automatically using the gps inside the device find your location and then you just need to click set location wait for a few minutes for it to set up your location after about two minutes you should get a message that pops up and tells you that it has been paired successfully now you just click on your app and you'll see your sensor there give it a while for the first few streams to come and then you'll see it through it's at this point that you now want to plug in your device wait a few minutes you should see a steady green light with a flashing red light that shows you that the device is working properly i've got a quick clip here of how i mounted it to my existing helium antenna pole and that's it you should be now ready to roll so how much did I earn from this in the first 22 days as a lead sensor? And you can see that I got 122 points. Now remember you get one score point per day, but if you, as I mentioned, to be the first person in your pixel, you actually get 100 bonus points as well. So it's really important that you only plug in your sensor after you've onboarded it. I earned 3,720 planets as of the 16th of March. Now remember that is the total payout, but Planet Watch takes a cut. So the final amount was 2,976 planets. If we look at that amount in today's price of 12 pence, we can see that it comes to 359 pounds at today's price. Now the all-time high for this token was 28 pence. And if we work that out, it roughly works around as 833 pounds if the price was at all time highs. We can see that it works out at the USD price of 15 cents, $471. And with an all time high of 47 cents, we can see that the price, if the amount remained at the all time high, would have been $1,398 for just 22 days of earning. That's if it stayed at the all time high. Even at today's low rate, it would only take a few months for me to ROI, but I'm expecting the price of planets to go up much higher. So is it worth buying? Well, I can never give you financial advice, but myself personally, I'll be holding on to these planets and I'm very happy for this investment. I've actually just purchased two more as I'm part of the quarter one batch of 2022 and I'll be giving an update on those as they arrive and as they get deployed. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do save this video if you are hoping to get hold of a Planet Watch sensor. I am going to be doing a new unbox of a project that I did feature on this channel next. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you tune in. That's it from me. Thank you very much.